One of the fun things that the astronauts get to do uh, on board the International Space Station uh, is actually it gives them a great opportunity to interact with uh, children and schools and people all around the globe. Uh, one such thing that they're doing is a little bit of story reading. Uh, everyone loves a good story and what makes it even better sometimes is when an astronaut gets to read it to you from the International Space Station. Uh, so Lori Meggs uh, out at the uh, Payload Operations Integration Center at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, was able to catch up with uh, Jeffrey Bennett, who's an astrophysicist who's written several children's fiction books about Max the Dog's adventures on the space station, the moon, and also Mars. Uh, NASA astronaut uh, Colonel Alvin Drew uh, read Bennett's book, uh, Max Goes to the Moon, uh, back when he was on the space station, which ended up becoming a pretty big hit. That recording and uh, others will be made available to the public as part of a program uh, to continuously encourage students to study science, technology, math, and engineering. So tell us about how you got into writing. From an astrophysicist to writing children's books, that's, a, <laughs> that's quite a jump there. Well, I first got into writing college textbooks, so that's actually my main line wow. of work is writing college textbooks. Okay. And uh, then I eventually found a little tiny bit of spare time, and I had always wanted to write children's books because I used to teach elementary school as well. And so finally was able to start doing it about 10 years ago. I did my first one, Max Goes to the Moon. Well, what's, what's it about? Well, so Max is my dog. He is a Rottweiler. And in Max Goes to the Moon, they uh, take people back to the moon for the first time since the Apollo era and inspire people enough to decide to build a colony on the moon where people can look back at Earth and see how your perspective changes when you look back at Earth from space. We called the author up, uh, got Jeff Bennett, and said, thinking about reading your story from space, uh, is it possible, if you, would you be upset if we took one of your books and, you know, and scanned it in and made a PDF of it because I can't fly the physical book? And he goes, well, how about I just send you the file? We were just hoping he would just say yes, okay, and he, got, he was very helpful with it. And so we felt like, you no, know, we'll, we'll show you the tape. So here's me reading from the, the flight deck of the Space Shell Discovery. And he goes, you mind if I put this out on YouTube? And he, he did, and it was, it was very, very successful and very popular. Hi, I'm astronaut Alvin Drew aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. I'd like to read you a bedtime story. This one is called Max Goes to the Moon by Jeffrey Bennett, illustrated by Alan Okamoto. A really cool moment for you, though, was when an astronaut read your book from space, right? That was a pretty incredible moment when I got the phone call from uh, Patricia Tribe saying that uh, Alvin Drew would like to read one of my books from space. I didn't believe it was a real phone call. And, once I finally accepted that it was, I sent them the uh, PDF in that case, and Astronaut Drew read the book from the uh, final mission of the Space Shuttle Discovery, and that's posted up on YouTube. The cool thing about the book is it's not just a children's book. I mean, the, the basic story itself is, is you know, meant so that you know, children two, three, or four years old can enjoy the story and see the great pictures. But on the side, there are these things called Big Kid Science where they go into all the actual physics and things like that. So, you know, if you're like me, when I, had, I used to have my favorite you know, kids' books I grew up with, but you know, when you're 12 or 13, you don't want to pull those books back off the shelf because like, even though you might still like the pictures and everything, so now you've got an excuse to pull the book off the shelf and go, I'm reading up on the science here, Ma. That's why I've got the book back <laughs> off. So uh, even now, it's, it's got good science in it, and I like pulling it down off the shelf and pretending that I'm getting science out of it, too. Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins on board the International Space Station, and it's one of my favorite times. It's story time from space. Hi, I am JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata. Welcome to story time from space. Well, after uh, astronaut Drew read uh, Max Goes to the Moon from the Discovery, uh, that was sort of a pilot project, and Patricia and Tribe went out with the... Uh, demo tape and uh, pulled a lot of teachers and looked into it and people were really excited about the idea and then Casas got excited about the idea as well and they decided they would take uh, all five of my children's books up to the station to be read from the cupola up there so it's the four Max books and a fifth one I have called The Wizard Who Saved the World which also has a little bit of space in it. Thank you for listening The Wizard Who Saved the World. Watch for the next book reading here on Storytime from Space.